I want anyone who is paying attention to raise their hand. Great. Now I know those of you who are paying attention and those who weren't, but you are now. In terms of social behaviors, you all just exhibited a form of communication and cooperation. Humans are just a fraction of animals that participate in social activities. Now I know that all of you are paying attention because you can tell me you are. But the same is not true for the wildlife that surrounds us. Past researchers have labeled animals as rudimentary in terms of self-awareness and cognition. But perhaps this is due to their methods. Given a different technique, there's much we can learn about what animals are aware of. Take prairie dogs, for instance. Prairie dogs have the most complex non-human language decoded thus far. They have a unique vocalization for humans, hawks, even between dogs and coyotes. They can describe something by a variation of colors and even by width. But what prairie dogs rely on most is for all group members to be equally, collectively, scanning for and vocalizing about predator threats. So how does an individual prairie dog establish that all group members are equally alert? The answer lies in the infamous jump yip. Black-tailed prairie dogs stand on their hind legs with their front paws in the air and cry, wee -hoo! This is followed by an immediate response of the same behavior in many other individuals in the group, making it a collective behavior. I started this talk with a demonstration that told me something about your attentional state. Imagine a similar mechanism derived by an individual prairie dog who first jump yips. That individual is probing the attentional state of others, and those who do not stand and return the call reflect a spatial area susceptible to predator attack. I want to know what that first individual does with that information. Using surveillance video, I can determine if they become more watchful of those spatial deficits or the periphery of colonies where predators might approach. But why should you all care about a couple of communicating prairie dogs? I personally find it fascinating at how effective and meaningful their communication can be. I would be shocked if each of you hasn't sent a text or email that was misinterpreted by its reader. So if all other social species can survive and thrive without a smartphone, isn't there something we can gain from understanding their communicative abilities? I think so. Thank you.